Hi, you are back. I am happy to see you here again at the channel about health and holistic health, specifically and fitness. So I want to share with you more deeply the knowledge and my experience about holistic health and holistic lifestyle that is so great, so beautiful, so amazing and so beneficial to live. I changed my life from 1 to 180 degree. Uh, I see the great changes and I decided to take it with a proud to make my life and dedicate myself to the holistic health and fitness coaching and I want to change your life and I want to change life of many women. I claim for one million women, all right, that's a good job for me to do in this life around the globe and turn their life around to be their best version by living holistic lifestyle. So what does it mean, this holistic lifestyle? It's very broad, it's very unfamiliar, right? It's like alien, what does it mean? Does it make any sense? Holistic, what does it mean? But overall, holistic, it's an ecosystem, right? Because health, there is no one aspect to the health. If you eat well, it doesn't mean you are super healthy. If you just go to work out at the gym and you have protein shakes replacing one meal and then you eat these grams of protein, these grams of carbs, not healthy at all, there is not even power, there is just visual effect of your beautiful physique, which are temporary, unfortunately, because it's not a permanent goal or permanent result, excuse me. For example, if you get ill or if you get pregnant and you stop exercising, your body shape will lose. But when you follow the holistic even nutrition plan and nutrition eating habits with a holistic approach and your training also regime would be aligned with a holistic approach, even I'm guaranteeing you that your immune system would be so high to stand any kind of flu, virus, uh, psychosomatic, stress, anxiety, life situations that you wouldn't get sick at the first place. But even so, if you have a point where you want to, you know, a little bit calm down and don't do anything like one, two days, three days, it will not affect your body even for one week or if you go vacation. But the beautiful thing about holistic lifestyle when you do even your exercise which you choose by the way you enjoy to do it not because you need to do because you need to lose weight because you need to fit into these gyms because you need to uh, get those six ups or any other superficial goal no but holistic way of living and exercising it's kind of like a good addiction because even if you go to vacation even it's sunday even it's rainy even it's winter you would still enjoy to work out and do the exercise or meditate or any kind of activity which align for you at this moment you are free to change also at any point because you don't have applications that you need to be a 20 year gym uh, uh, attendant. No, you can free to change and modify. You are flexible, but you will enjoy so much that you would feel like it's missing and you will feel that it's missing not from the place, for example, for many women, even for me, it was resonating before when I was addicted to keep my size 90-60-90 with the modeling industry. So I was, you know, on around that I need to go to the gym because I need to lose weight because I eat extra in those meals. So I need to work out to compensate. But no, it will not come the habit of exercising and working out in holistic lifestyle from a place of compensation. It would come from a place where you feel better after exercising, where you feel more joyful, where you like yourself more, not because you exercise again to lose those calories, but you just boost your blood flow in your body, your flesh move more, uh, you get the sparkle in yourself, your mood change, for example, you, it was rainy and you feel sad and you work out and then suddenly you feel 
you feel much better, you feel happier, you want to call those friends, chat and have a nice beautiful discussion. So it's about exercise, about food. You don't need to count calories, you don't need to be on a strict diet, you don't need to eat this amount of proteins, you don't need to forget about carbs, you don't need to quit drinking, but you need to find this educating manner to recognize the symptoms from a body, what body needs to eat, magnesium, protein, calcium, so you give yourself this kind of food and you also become creative, like, you know, you improvise in a kitchen at your laboratory how you can mix and I am happily, happily offer my coaching to teach you how to do this and how to recognize the uh, body indicators and how to cook because sometimes we would find ourselves in a state that actually I don't know how to cook it's too complicated I don't know how to mix everything but again from the place where you know yourself that you nourish yourself and you cook for yourself your perspective change and then you experiment a couple of times it's the same habit as training you know your biceps you train yourself for a few sessions for a few dinners, for a few lunches, for a few weeks, maybe it's going to take maybe four months, and then you polish your skills and it's get better, better, then you become more and more confident to mix those spices, to mix those greens, to mix pasta with chicken, you know, I started already to swallow it, even I had lunch like a few hours back, but still. And of course, mindfulness. Mindfulness is so important again in the era of 21st century where the stress is in each corner. Any friend I will speak, they have stress at work, with partner, with family, in the country, with the government, with tax, with the parents of other kids. Like there's so many circumstances which person allows to reflect and take place of being stressed in the life where while practicing mindfulness by doing yoga, by doing meditations, by painting, by doing pilates, you build yourself a foundation to cure and prevent all this kind of stress. So you have a wall, like if we will choose to speak metaphorically, you will build a wall which would resist those stressful situations and which would keep your emotional body in a harmony and balance and those kind of small things which can irritate us because of poor diet and lack of activity, immune system weak, emotional levels like beyond the ground, it's so easy to get irritated and get stressed and get weak and get like in, in the emotion of crying and feeling self-pity. I know I was there also, I, I feel miserable, but when you decide to put yourself together and take responsibility to be active, to eat well, and to exercise and practice this mindfulness. Even for me, when I sit for first time in meditation, I was like, what does it is? What does it mean that I'm sitting, closing my eyes? Okay, maybe I will work on my posture, maybe it will improve, but what and don't think about anything what it is but no with the time especially when you have a great expert who will teach you how to meditate how to structure how to relate because it's more about transition from where for example right now i am have zero interest in meditation why do i need to do but you need to take the position that again you don't think only about today even if today you have stress and you would might still be skeptical about practicing mindfulness you might think also about the long term in a couple of years in a couple of months in a five years in a ten years how does this stress would convert to your health how this would be extra cellulite no unfortunately even cellulite it's coming from a stress but in a long term with a couple of years of consistent stress, of a poor diet, low immune, low drive to be alive, in a matter I mean alive as you know, happy, enthusiastic, optimistic, it will turn your body to racing and you will start to get the bad sickness. And that is not what you're looking for. In any age you are right now, it does not matter that how 
you would choose to fight with your anxiety and depression today. But in the long term, you need to think that if you take care of yourself with these tools of meditation, good uh, eating habits, exercising, you know, cooking, uh, change relation to yourself as self-acceptance, self-appreciation, self-esteem, you build yourself a better future because it's your seeds which you put and they will grow in a couple of years and give you harvest of longevity, graceful aging. You will not have this extra, extra wrinkles because your skin would be happy also. You don't need to uh, make a wrinkles by a surprise and anger because you would be in a harmony and you have an emotional barrier that keep you from a small irritation and does not touch your surface. And it's not about having a strong skin or being emotionless. It's about that you know what's important, what does not important, and you don't need to give to everything your energy and emotion. Especially for women, our power and our capacity with the emotions, we can turn the world around. But the things that we don't believe in this and we don't turn around this for our benefit. So when we decide to put this together, our health, holistic health, our eating habits, our mindfulness, our physical activity and our spirituality, again, so we put ourselves as a first priority and we look how we can grow within spirituality, is it prayer, religion, is it meditation, mindfulness, how we can put ourselves together and have this strong stamina. So when we put all of these factors together, we grow in life. Our stamina gets stronger. We are more joyful, we are more optimistic, we are more happy, we are more energetic. Even simple math exercise. When you start to follow only one, better eating habits, okay, let's say two, better eating habits and you start to practice mindfulness with the meditations and other tools that I offer, for example, you used to sleep 8-9 hours. Your body would not need any more to escape in a sleep for 8, 9 or 10 hours. You would not have a need. You will wake up with a biological alarm and eventually sleep less. So for example, even by one hour. So in one week, you will gain 7 extra hours. So our excuse on a regular basis that I don't have a time for health, you do have a time, but you need to look at the wider picture in the long run, what is important for you? Is it important for you to do the task and just to be focused on a job? Or it's important for you to give yourself the best what you can on a daily basis so you can stay with your kids for as long as possible. You can enjoy life and moments with your partner and with your loved one, travel the world, make more money, be more creative to make more money, not only to be from morning to night at work. And you sleep less, you're more energetic, you're more attractive to other people, they want to be in connection with you, they want to make business with you, they want to collaborate with you, like you feel attraction, it's not that you just stand or you know you need to speak to thousands of people, but other people would feel it, they would feel it and they would want to have the piece of same thing. So. That's why I wanted to put a reminder that even if you go to just a gym, it's not enough for your health in a long term. If you just go with a meal planning, it's also not enough for a long run in your life. If you still think that mindfulness is just some, uh, you know, very uh, funky stuff, Try it, try it. There is nothing forbidden to just try it and see how, how it changes. I mean, do not judge from one time. Try it for a few times and observe yourself. How do you feel? Why not? If anything that serves you better, to be better yourself, why would you say no to this? And it's no harm in this. It's not require any infrastructure. It does not require any in, like you know crazy changes in your life. You just need uh, moderation of your house to have some small corner where you would dedicate for yourself a set mindfulness and you can influence also and teach your, your kids about the same thing and then they will be more stronger to 
face bullying, which is anyway in every school is present, where they will have more self-confidence, self-presence and self-awareness. Like there is just unlimited benefit of following this lifestyle and being your best version of yourself. And again, my mission is to change life of 1 million women around the world and make them live holistic lifestyle for better them, for better health, for longevity, for anti-aging, for graceful aging, you know, for being those super fit, healthy, adorable grandma who would dance on uh, her grandkid marriage and still be active and energized. This is what I wish for you. So feel free to connect with me on the links below. I have one on one free consultation call where I can review your current situation, your current habits, and we can map together how to get out of where you are right now to the best version of yourself. All right, see you in the next video.